Welcome to Bauna's Kitchen. Today I'm making lobia palak. Lobia means black eyed peas, palak, spinach. So basically, black eyed peas curry with spinach. Lobia palak is full of protein because black eyed peas is high in protein. And um, spinach is full of iron. So this is very healthy curry that you can make on your weekly menu even and you will absolutely fall in love with this curry so let's get started heat up the stove on a medium to high heat and into the pressure cooker pot take a cup of water take another pot that fits well into the cooker pot add a cup of cow peas with two cups of water and salt to taste Cover the inner pot. Place medium size of potato to steam on the lid and now lock the cooker. With the whistle on and here about 4 whistles for fresh cow peas and 6 to 8 whistles for dry cow peas. Next wash and chop spinach and keep aside. Peel and chop onion and Keep aside. Wash and chop tomatoes roughly and keep aside. Let's check our cow peas now. Allow pressure to release naturally and open the cooker with care. Remove the steamed potato into a bowl, mash it roughly and keep on side. Check if cow peas are done and keep on side. Now again heat up another pot on a medium heat with a tablespoon of oil in it. When oil is hot add cumin seeds and asafoetida which is known as hing. Add onion, give it a quick stir, add salt, ginger garlic paste, turmeric and cook onion till translucent. When onion is cooked well, add tomato. Water as needed and continue to cook for about 3 minutes or till tomatoes are mushy. When tomatoes are almost done, add powdered spices like grilled chili powder, garam masala powder and stir really well. And now ready to add mashed potato. Be sure to mix potato with the onion tomato gravy before adding the remaining ingredients. Boiled cow peas. And finally add spinach as well. Give this all a really good stir. The curry is pretty thick so I'm going to add more water. I'm using the same pot I boiled peas in it. And now cover and let it simmer for about 5 minutes. And in meanwhile let's prepare fragrant rice. Take 1 cup of basmati rice. Wash rice several times until water runs clear and keep aside. Here I have some whole spices, bay leaves, cinnamon, cloves and star anise. Here I have the spices sieve infuser. Spicy sachets can be used. Break some of the whole spices like so and I'm going to place all the spices into this um, spices sieve infuser so that I don't have to keep looking for them once my rice is done. 
so just to simply add all the spices in it and then just lock it and keep on side next add three cups of water into the pot one more cup add salt the spice infuser and rice and cook rice until it is almost 60 to 70 percent cooked be sure not to overcook the rice it takes about 12 to 15 minutes to boil basmati rice when the rice is almost 60 70 percent cooked turn off the stove drain out rice and pour some ice cold water to prevent further cooking mm, smells so good all those spices and carefully remove the spice holder keep aside all right so as you can see perfectly cooked rice not overcooked rice keep the cooked rice on the side for now let's check the lobia palak curry you can serve this curry with rice roti paratha or you can just even eat as it is just like a soup as you can see like it's like a kind of a um, soup with black eyed peas spinach and the gravy is there potato and so all these flavors and all these ingredients makes it perfect as a soup even um, on a, any um, cold winter days or even rainy weather so if you don't want to prepare rotis or rice this is the recipe that you can prepare it's a very stomach filling so you can just have it just as it is all right it's been simmering for about 8 to 10 minutes now and you can see the color beautiful yummy looking color take out into the serving handy but before that add lemon or lime juice gives amazing flavor and ready to serve now look at this yum all right so here i have the curry ready i have the rice getting ready and i'll prepare whole wheat paratha to go with this curry our family favorite is lacha roti paratha take two cups of flour wheat flour also known as chapati atta add a tablespoon of oil if desired rotis can be made without any oil as well in the beginning take about half of the water than flour so for two cups of flour i'm taking one cup of water start kneading the dough not too soft not too hard nice and pliable dough all right so the dough is ready take little amount of oil and smooth out the dough so this is how the dough should be cover it and let it rest for about 10 minutes into the small bowl take about half teaspoon of salt about half tablespoon of sugar and about quarter teaspoon of cumin powder jeera powder mix it really well Heat up the pan, non-stick or cast iron pan on a medium heat. To roll square parathas, simply roll in a circle first. Then apply ghee. Prepared seasoning and then fold from both sides and then fold again 
and make square like so even if it turns into rectangle totally fine and now roll in a one direction every time you roll and change the side and keep rolling until you finish rolling to the desired thickness so here is how to make square paratha remove the rolled paratha from the rolling board and place onto the heated towel and roast on both sides until nice golden brown color when you see some bubbles on the first side flip and then bake it on the other side until few brown specks if desired smear a little bit of oil or ghee to roast paratha really well but they can be roasted without any ghee or oil keep cooking and keep flipping until you get the desired doneness of the parathas look at the gorgeous looking color of the paratha when, when done remove the paratha from the pan and bring onto the paper towel and i have different sizes of paratha here as you can see ready to serve with curry i hope you enjoyed watching this video please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week you can visit my website baunaskitchen.com for new recipe tips tricks and ideas in the kitchen you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram pinares baunas kitchen is everywhere you can download baunas kitchen apps totally free on your ios android and many other mobile devices you can watch me on a big tv screen using roku amazon fire or youtube app itself thanks for watching and see you soon